these are actually some really good starting bars for this fight. So, um, and Terra has that haystaga, uh, because this boss does do one scripted AoE slow, and, uh, we, we have that haystaga, or the haste, in order to spot haste anybody that gets messed up. Uh, we do have slow resist on most of us, except for Delita, but... The leader doesn't really need to be moving fast. And this, in this fight, where They are actually taking forever to do anything. Like, Christ. This fight has been going on for a bit now and they haven't even gotten attacked yet. Not on wood. But, still. Good damage. Yep. And that's why I brought the magic taunt. Speaking of which, we should probably refresh that. If I wanted to, I could probably take these clones out. No, uh, they don't do too much other than cast single target magic, so not a whole lot of a reason to take them out. It's better to just, you know, let them sit there. They're, they're not hurting anybody, except for Delita every now and then. <laughs> so Phantasm Gaze there is a uh, chance to confuse, actually. Um, I didn't bring any confuse resist, so... We are at a bit of the mercy of RNG. I may have actually forgotten to cast the buff. Doesn't really matter. I didn't use the command too with a uh, Kuja, but doesn't doesn't matter. He's doing enough damage. As be expected, anything that is dark or holy week uh, kind of falls apart pretty fast. Thank you, Blue Sax. I am aware that there are bonus battles and that the boat dungeons are open. Okay, now that it is casting Divide again, it is going to cast its big piercing attack really soon. I seem to have skipped the uh, the slow though. So Mazer I should be coming shortly. But it may die before that. That is a big yes, actually. Um in the videos that I watched in preparation for this, Mazer I usually deals with around uh, 2k to 3k damage. But if you are being aggressive there and taunting most of the moves, uh, you should be pretty alright. A nice power orb. 